Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. God bless you. How you doing? God is good. He's good all the time. Amen. This is your servant of God, uh, Edwin Lindsay, coming to you live by Facebook on behalf of Breakers Covenant International Church, where our leadership and the founder of and the set man of the house of God at Breakers is Aaron D. Hines and Rosanna Hines. And uh, we send our prayers out to them and Thank uh, I thank the Lord for allowing uh, me to come before you again, saying if you have the faith, he has the power in Jesus' name. God is good. God is good. God is good. He's good all of the time. Amen. So um, today, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, really specifically conquering your past or letting go of your past. Amen. And there are two versions of you, of you. Amen. There are two versions of you. Amen. And uh, letting go the past. We're talking about the newness of Christ and being brand new. Amen. We are created in the newness of God. Amen. As we're born again believers, as one who trusts in God. Amen. And we give our total existence all to him spirit soul and body amen we believe that all things are possible amen as long as we have our eyes set on him amen because he is truly the author and the finish of our faith and so with that being said i would ask uh, that we take time to first allow the holy spirit to come in and have his way amen and we're going to do that do a brief prayer and then we get right off into our teaching. Amen. Father God, Lord, we thank you. We thank you, Almighty God, for your existence in our lives, oh God, spirit, soul, and body. Father, we have made up our mind, oh God. We have made a decision to follow you in the name of Jesus. You said, if any man would follow after me, let him first deny himself, then take up his cross and follow me. In the name of Jesus. So Lord, we're not in denial. No longer, God. We're, our eyes are open. Our hearts are receptive. And we are willing vessels. Willing, ready, and obedient, oh God, to receive your word by faith. And to know that, God, that there are souls out there that need to know that you are real. And so with that being said, oh God, we ask that you come in now by way of your Holy Spirit. And teach us what we need to have understanding and knowledge and wisdom to as it relates to us going forward in you and not backwards. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So we thank God also for our leaders. And we pray not only for our leaders at Breakers, but we also pray for anyone that is uh, uh, listening to this viral or uh, this video. Amen. We're praying for your leader at whatever assembly of the saints that gather together in Jesus' name, amen, uh, and that has leadership over you. We pray for your leadership, amen. As we work together in the unity of the faith, amen, we want to be unified because there's only one body, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, amen, in Jesus' name. And with that being said, amen, we want to go to uh, our scripture for the day as we get into it, the Go to Isaiah 43, chapter 43, the book of Isaiah, and I read the King James Version. But now, thus saith the Lord that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not. For I have redeemed thee and have called thee by name, for thou art mine. And when thou passest through the water, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. And when thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned. Neither shall the flames kindle upon thee. Amen. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading of his word there. And in the same scripture of Isaiah 43, uh, verse 18 and 19, which is where we're going to springboard off into our teaching on today, um, it says this, Remember ye not the former things. Amen. The prophet of God is speaking to the people of God, and he's saying, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the old days, uh, you know, 
So he, here's the prophet speaking on the behalf of the Lord, and he said, Almighty, he said, Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Don't, don't even consider. What's done in the past is in the past. Amen. He says, the 19th verse says, Behold, I do a new thing, and now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? God says, this, uh, I'm, I'm already doing this new thing. Amen. And, and I don't want you to be ignorant of me doing it. Amen. When I say something new, it's new. Amen. And it's already been done. Amen. He says, before I do it, I will even make a way in the wilderness and a river in the desert. Amen. And, uh, and I'm going to skip verse, just right straight to verse 21. <laughs> this people have I formed for myself that they shall set forth my praises. Amen. So praise be to God that we are, uh, you know, already the new thing. We're involved in the new thing. Amen. Um, as, um, as the man of God just spoke of this past Sunday, he was talking about being new, everything being new, amen, in the unity of the faith, us being unified together, you know, by faith, amen, and recognizing that God has given us a mandate to go forward and not backwards as it relates to being able to administer the word of God to those who are seeking to do so, to win souls for Christ. Then God said to, to you, it's, this is a new thing. Amen. I'm doing a new thing now. Amen. And so, with that being said, uh, we can go quickly into some of the things that would, you know, get our minds ready for that new thing. Amen. I said, Jesus said, if any man would follow after me, then at first deny himself, take up his cross, then follow me. And we must be uh, uh, realize that our past cannot control us. You know, no longer. We cannot allow the past to control the saints of God. We must control our past. This doesn't determine my future. And then, so don't let your past determine your future. Amen. Amen. So God is good. Amen. Jesus dealt with my past or with your past. And he says, that's the old thing. That's, paid. that's old. That's been passed away. Now I'm bringing you to the newness of me. Amen. And then, so we recognize that when Jesus said that we can change, he was talking about the soulish man, you know, saying you can't, right? And the soul man, soulish man is in disagreement with that, you know what I'm saying, being brand new, because the soulish man it relies on what we think, how we feel, and what we choose to do. Amen. 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 And most of the time, that's connected to the cares of this life. Amen. Amen. So when the spirit of that brings forth life comes and tells us about something new, we're struggling with it because, you know, we're stuck in dealing with the old. Amen. We're proclaiming out of one sense out of my mouth that I accept this new thing, but then at the same time, secretly, amen, we're holding on to the old stuff. Amen. Amen. So, uh, uh, you know, one thing that I used to say a lot, amen, and that is don't let your past misery, you know, dictate your future, your, uh, your future ministry. Amen. Amen. Yeah. So, in other words, um, sometimes, you know, we look at our past so much. Uh, but you know what? You know, instead of looking at it in a negative way, I knew that those things at that time were new to me. Amen. But now they're old because you're maturing, you're growing in the grace and the wisdom and the knowledge of God. So you don't want that to dictate your future ministries. Amen. Amen. So there's actually two versions of you. Well, you say, well, what do you mean? What are you trying to say? I'm devil-minded? No, I'm not saying that you're devil-minded. Amen. But let me kind of get this thing to you in, in a way that uh, you could be able to see what I'm really talking about. 
the two versions of you or me is that God's version of you. God has a way of seeing us. Amen. Because remember this, Saint God. God doesn't see it as a man sees us. Amen. Nor does he think the way man thinks. Amen. He says, my ways are not your ways, nor my thoughts your thoughts. But I know my thoughts towards you, they're good and not evil, and this shall be your expected end. So God sees it down the line. He sees into the future. Amen. Amen. He sees in us what we didn't see or don't see in ourselves. Now, the other side of that is the life version that you've experienced already or experiencing. The life version of you is dealing with your DNA, you know, the connection you had with your fleshly ancestors, parents, and so forth and whatnot. And then there's your education, where people have carved into the soul. In other words, uh, you know, where people have spoken to you and, and you went for that and, and began to live off the, the either the, the dislikes of, of them speaking about you or the encouragement that they do. So a lot of times we, we, be, we don't really see how badly we look for man to affirm us rather than the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because the soul is man, uh, you know, likes to be recognized. Amen. Through those feelings or thoughts. Amen. And so therefore, this is the life experience that we have. The life experience of you. It is with your education, having uh, cards into your soul, your wrongdoings, fearfulness, uh, rejections, and, or angers, or resentment, or bitterness, or whatever, jealousy, all of these things come from the soulish man. Amen. God's version of us is this. God's version was to preach for us, to preach the gospel. Amen. We are to share the good news to a dying world, that Jesus is alive and well. Jesus is God. Amen. Amen. You know, so God's version of us, in terms of that, is to preach the gospel. The second is God's version of, of me or you is to help others. Amen. In other words, how can you know, love my neighbor as you love myself? Amen. Amen. And so, the third one is God's version to control, you know, to conquer rather than control, to conquer my fears so that I can help others to conquer their fears. Amen. How you going to tell somebody how to overcome fear and these various things that we got through our DNA from our ancestors? Amen. And here you are still dealing with the same thing yourself. Amen. So God wants us to be that example of how we can be more than conquerors through him. Amen. And so it says so that uh, our fourth one is, but until I conquer, uh, you know, until I conquer uh, me, I can't help nobody else. I, you know what I mean? And so how can I help somebody else when I'm stuck? Amen. You know, you know, saints of God sometimes you know, and, and not to call anybody out, but sometimes, you know, we will quickly quote a scripture, you know, that we feel the person needs to hear at that particular time. Now, the verse that you quoted, the scripture that you quoted, you and I quoted, may very well be true. In fact, it is true. All scripture is true, not a lie. Amen. But here... At the very same way that you, uh, you know, or the excitement of telling somebody without even thinking what to believe in, in terms of the scripture, you yourself, when it's your turn, don't do it. Amen. God doesn't want us to speak from that point, but he wants us to be, have strength, amen, and to be a conqueror. To be one that has already conquered that. Amen. Amen. So that we can help somebody who is in need of help to believe and to trust in God. Amen. And so we go on and we can begin to look at 
other things such as you must choose what version you're going to believe. Now, are you going to believe the, the life version, meaning the things that you experienced in the past and all the disappointments that it brought? You know what I mean? Because you know that those things really happened to you. Are uh, you going to believe to choose the one, amen, that God, how God sees you, amen, in the life that he brings toward you, which is brand new, amen. And, and so uh, I believe that you will do as I've said, so said to myself already, but that's not, uh, that's no quick trick question for me to answer. Uh, I will choose God's way, God's version of me, amen. Man doesn't even know his own self. But who knows man better than his own self? God. So if I'm going to go to somebody about me, who am I going to go to? God. <laughs> How am I going to do that? Prayer. Amen. Amen. How am I going to be able to know that it's God? Get still. Hear his voice. Learn to hear his voice. Amen. God version or life version? Which is the one are you going to choose? Life version says you have a, a, a disability, you got disease, abused by people, a victim to sexual uh, misbehaving or whatever. Uh, you need to conquer yourself. It means mind, emotions, will, or choice. Amen. So you had to you have to conquer the soulless man experiences that's downloaded, amen, in your soulless man or in your mind. Amen. In many cases, it caused us to have made uh, bad decisions. Amen. Amen. It goes on. It says, however, uh, to overcome the spirit leading, the spirit leads life speaking God's word. Yeah, you know, you have to learn what it means. You and I, we're learning what it means to speak life by, you know, God's word, knowing it. And then just not saying it only, but knowing behind a shadow of a doubt that I believe that what I'm about to speak out of my mouth is true. And I accept it, the value of knowing that it is true. Amen. Why? Because I am a witness. Amen. For the Lord, and we can go. Know, we can go on and on, and in uh, Second Chronicles, you know, you uh, you can talk about in chapter twenty, which is seven through eleven. You know, um, we we speak about the Bible speaks about Jehoshaphat and what have you, and in that area, battling for a place of blessings, or should I say? you know, speaking on the problem rather than focusing on the problem. You and I have to come to that place as a believer that whatever we focus on, that's how much authority God has given us, we empower. Amen. See, all power has been given unto us. Amen. Jesus said, Behold, I give thee power. Amen. They lay their hands on the sick and they shall be clothed. They cast out demons in my name. You know what I'm saying? To preach the gospel. Amen. To take up daily things. They will not harm you, but not just be doing something out of the norm, but if anything, to try to take your life. When I haven't called it to take it, it will not harm you. Amen. Amen. And so I'm giving you some time to thought, uh, food for thought for the day. Recognize that with all the confusion that's going on in our society, I'll say it again, with all the confusion that's going on in our society today, where individuals don't want to come to church, they, they rather sit at home and look at it on, the, on their phones. And uh, we were speaking about there's nothing like being in the house of God to experience, to have a personal experience and the move of God in, in God's house. 
Nothing like it. There's nothing that can replace that. Amen. Thanks to God. Don't allow the enemy, you know, to use all this soulless mentality of the second version of yourself, if you will, because of life experiences. To feel that, you know, you know, sickness and this, that, and the other keeps you away from the house of God. Press. Come out. Try to be there. Every now and then. I know there's exceptions to the rules, but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Saints of God. Amen. And so, with that being said, um, you don't want to focus on the problem. There's nothing wrong with you mentioning the problem, you know, or speaking on it. Just don't focus on it. It's, that's the most dangerous thing that a believer can do because you take that, that empowerment zone that we stand in, which goes with us every, by the way, everywhere we go. When you are born again believer and you trust in God, amen, then you become a a, a walking, what I call, powerhouse. And then you carry the energy, the charge to bring light into dark places. Amen. 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 So stay connected. Stay hooked up. Pray without ceasing. Choose the right version of who you are. Amen. See yourself through God's eyes. Not your own. Focus on only on that which God wants you to focus on. Amen. Amen. Jesus was well grounded. He didn't really say too much, if you notice. Jesus wasn't saying a whole lot. But whatever he focused on, <laughs> there was healing going forth before he even spoke it out of his mouth. Amen. There was a charge, you know, to to listen to what he was to say before he said it. Amen. That's the type of authority and the power of the Holy Spirit that God has given us. You know, and I would ask you in closing tonight, what are you focusing on that you give power to it? Is it the things that God wants you to focus on to empower like the sick getting healed, the poor, the experience of life changes, the sinner returning back to go to the Lord and saying, Lord, help me in my unbelief, the backslider coming back to the church. Are you focusing on someone who needs to know that power and acquaint themselves again with it? For those who've walked away from it, amen. What kind of energy surge are you sending out to those you encounter within the day? Amen. Amen. Food for thought. Well, that's pretty much the end of our topic for the day. Amen. Reminding you. Jesus said, Behold, I do a new thing. And before I do it, I'm going to tell you about it. Ask, if you don't know what that is, ask Jesus in prayer. Lord, what is this new thing that you're talking about as it relates to me? What do you want me to do with it once you show me what it is? God bless you. And let's close out with prayer. Lord, I thank you. For those who uh, tuned into this, this teaching on tonight, I ask, Father, that uh, you open up our eyes so we can see again. Oh, Lord, it's so important that we see things through your eyes and not our own. We know, God, that as we do so, Father God, we can see uh, through straight through the human being's flesh and see the soul and see what the soul is in need of, God. That's how much authority you've given us, oh God. You've given us eyes to see and ears to hear what the Spirit is saying unto us. So, Spirit of the living God, continue to move mightily. 
upon those, O oh God, you have chosen for such a time as this. Help us, Lord, to win souls for Christ. Help us to be that example of what it means to not only stand in the empowered zone, not only proclaim the empowered zone, but be the actual empowered zone itself. That everywhere we go, whatever zone we stand in, that God, we bring that power, that Holy Ghost power, to that place. That every knee shall bow and every tongue shall and will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. This and all our blessings we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Good blessings to you. Blessings to you and good night. And may the Lord keep and watch over you and your family. Take care. I'll see you on tomorrow.